Hello, welcome to Straw Family Farm Take Two. I'm Christy. Today in the chapel, we've got uh, Psalms 28 7. The Lord is my strength and my shield. In Him, my heart trusts and I Him helped. My heart exalts, and with my song, I will give thanks to Him. And, and it's talking about, you know, just trusting God and, and knowing that He's going to take care of it. And I'm I'm kind of just struggling, you know, with what God has laid on my heart. And I am definitely running into resistance. So, but through him, I can do this. Um, I've talked to you a little bit about the tiny house. I've gone back out there and, and you know, started working. Run into a little... Uh, unanticipated hiccup with RJ's attitude towards me being back out there and you know it was never my intention to stay away I've always told you guys the tiny house will be done and I am going to do it so yeah anyway uh, this week I had a meeting yesterday so I didn't get to podcast um, but I have been working on prayer shawl you know I like to have them around to give away and this is just one that there's no pattern I'm just doing whatever stitch hits me at the time and so it looks like this so far and it is getting there I've made quite a bit of progress with it and it's bigger than it looks okay because it's as wide as my arms right now okay you see that mm -hmm. There, see, and so it's why, and I still have this much to go. I'm just going to use this skein, and however big it comes out is what it comes out. Um, I'm in the middle of a row down here, but yeah, it's coming along quite nicely. It actually reminds me of a spring garden, so it's been very, you know, everything right now in my life is garden, 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 <laughs> cleaning up the garden at the tiny house. Okay, so I've been working on that in the evenings. I did go out to the farm and do a little bit more. And I will put in that update right here. So we're back out here at the tiny house. I've gotten a lot cleared. Um, that's the back fence line back there. This, so my swing was working, but I sat on it and I've got to redo the... Sorry, this is the hook that goes up in here. I'll have to take the grinder and cut that off. And then um, there's a hole that just goes through and does. And I probably will do this one. Um, it's been painted over a hundred times. but So I will put those in. And then, yeah, because it's sitting on the ground right now. So, yeah, that's my soda. There's my gloves. All right, so I worked today and found this little pecan tree first i wasn't going to leave it but you know i think i'm just gonna mind i might um that's the pecan tree that rj and i planted when he was little the rabbit came and ate it off and then it started growing back and it is twice as big as this one so good deal i got a lot of that cleared or cut down i've run out of gas so um i only brought the weed eater and I filled it with gas but I did not bring the gas can this time I thought one thing and then clear so I've got this and this is the big tree right here like I said I'm still trying to figure out where the side fence is there because you can't see it um, so I got that found me some treasures um, found the hooks and that, that the bird feeders were on the table will be fine I need to glue one spot this I don't know um, I knocked it over so the screw on part is half missing but I might be able to you know maybe weld it who knows ah! it is actually full of water we're in drought conditions and it is full of water so I'll see if it screws on there and if it holds because it's just you know going to be filled with sand and then um it has water in it for a bird bath. But yeah, so I cleaned out here, found all the bird feeders and the hooks are in the tiny house. I thought there was another black one, 
but I can't find it, and I can't remember if I took it out already, or if I just lost it, or I don't know. A lot of this right through here is cut down. Um, I worked on this little tree here. Um, there's some broke branches up in there, and I need to top it off, but in order to do that, I'm going to need a chainsaw. So, yeah. Um, I thinned out this side quite a bit, and it seems to be doing okay. I need to get the rest of the, I need to get this. There's a front branch right there, and that's a lot of the dead, and I need to just cut it off. But I need a chainsaw to do it, and I just have a handsaw. So, this has been trimmed back. Let me get, I was trying to get over to that little tree today, but it's not going to happen. I've got this cleared back. I've got this. I trumpled out here, but I didn't get it cleared because I got, I was trying to find the side fence. Again, I want to find the side fence. At least that way I'd know, you know. And I have one more tree over there that I need to do. So, yeah. It's getting there. It's getting there. Um, looks to me like I might have vines in that one taking it down a little bit. So, we'll see. Um, then, of course, this is the tree that I did last time. And it is looking really good. It can utilize the dew now that all the dead is out of it. And... So I'm hoping maybe it'll come back. This I worked on a little bit. Didn't get too far down in there because I wanted to go and I want to get the half done where the house is. And, but I did get, there was pallets and stuff right here from the old pallet wall where they just pushed it over and put cattle panels up against my T-post. And so you can see there's one of the pallets down there. It's not done by any means. I just... Like I said, I ran out of gas as I was starting. So if you think about it, I'm standing here. I'm about half done. So uh, I'm pretty proud of that. Yes, I thought it was going to go quicker than this, but it's not. So it is what it is. Oh, look at what I found. There's nothing in it, but I have to turn that off. And I just wanted to show that it was there. So... Yeah, um, I'm getting further. The goal, I took the uh, weed eater saw again, and it, it goes a lot faster than the first couple of days I went out there. Uh, I've quit transporting the gas in my car. I, I just, I really don't like that. So I put one tank of the weed eater gas in there, fill the tank up, and then I cut down as much as that will do, and then I clear. Um, I've got quite a bit down, um, and that I still have to clear, but hey, I like it. All right. Two other things that I've been working on. Of course, I talked to you guys about the hundred envelope challenge. Um, so far I've got a couple hundred bucks in here, you know, so that's, that's good. Um, I'm okay with that working towards what a thousand five thousand something five thousand fifty dollars hundred envelope challenge and it just has the one all the way back to 100 and so the hundred is the most that you'll put in there it's a hundred dollar bill and i've been thinking that i can move like add some of these together and move them to the back and that way if i did have harder times where I can only save one or two dollars, my one and two would be open. So I've been saving from the front and thinking I'm going to move it to the back. Um, there's no timeline. I haven't given myself a timeline on this. It would just be nice to have, you know, a couple thousand on hand if something was to go wrong. I also have my savings that I'm putting away uh, that is for a tiny house. Um, I probably will be taking Christmas out of it too, but I haven't decided what I'm going to do on that. Um, then, um, I got this, it says, thank you for all you do. And it's a very nice leather, um, it's probably faux leather, uh, thank you thing from work when I hit two years, got the pin at one year. And so, um, I have turned this into, or I'm going to turn this into, I, right now I just have lots of lists in there. Um, I'm going to turn this into 
my tiny house book. Um, things that I need to purchase, things that I need to buy. Oh, I forgot something. Hold on just a second. Sorry about that. I, I got something else I want to tell you all. But anyway, um, I have lists. These are the lists that are in it, and I want to organize it in that. But um, so I have decided that I am going to wire the tiny house for electric. I have been looking into some solar powered generators, um, the renewable source of electricity. Uh, there will be three dedicated outlets and two other outlets. Now the three dedicated will be for the washer dryer combo, one for the small fridge that I have, and the other one for a small air conditioner that I'm going to put in there. Um, now those things will come in time, but when I'm building it, I want to put those three dedicated electrical outlets in there. And then I'm going to put two other outlets in there. And it's going to be for um, the kitchen. And I'll tell you why in a minute, there'll be one two prong, two hole outlet, just like in a regular house. And then there'll be one over by my bed. Okay, now both of those are um, very specific in need. All of those are actually very specific in need. Um, so the three dedicated, I just told you the AC, the fridge, and the thing. But the two other outlets, I've decided that I'm going to get either a toaster oven or a little griddle so that I can cook um, in the heat without heating up my house and without having to go out because like this time of year right now, it is 6.30 in the morning and it is still dark outside. Well, if I'm living there and I need to get to work, I'm not going to have time to cook any breakfast there, even if I wanted to, which I don't eat a lot of breakfast, but I, when I do, I want it, you know. I normally whip me up some scrambled eggs and go on, you know, and so... I wouldn't be able to do that unless I built a fire and blah, 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 and, you know, and I don't want to heat up the whole house. So I think I'm going to have a little griddle or a little toaster oven. Um, and I may do both. I don't know because they won't be running at the same time. So uh, those are the five outlets that I'm going to have. Um, I have decided I, I I know that if you followed me very long, you know there's not going to be a bathroom sink because it's a 20 by 20. There's no doors in this tiny home. There is a wall for privacy for the bathroom, and I can see down into the bathroom only if you're in my bed. So I would be the only one in that bed, so I would be the only one looking down there, so I'm not going to see myself going to the bathroom or anything. So I'm not going to put a door on it, so therefore no door handle. You can walk straight from the bathroom, go to the kitchen, and wash your hands. So, um, yeah, so there's just the kitchen sink. Um, I've made a list of, let's start with what I'm going to do first. First, I'm going to do the porch. I already have the wood for that, and I'm going to do the porch. Then I'm going to put the floor in the tiny house, and this is after I get the yard cleaned up. I need that land cleaned up first. I can't keep letting it go. It's got to start growing some grass. Um, I'm going to put in the porch, the floor. Then I'm going to run electric. I am going to put in piping for water. Um, I may at some point actually put in a little water meter, and that way I would have um, water and uh, a shower in the in the sink. And if I do that, I'm going to put a tankless water heater. Okay, you can buy small ones that will heat the water and do it. And I'm going to run that when I run the electric. I think. Um, but I've got to just run the components for it, if that makes sense. So once I get the electric and the water in, I'm going to do the insulation, the walls, then the shower will go in, then the kitchen sink will go in. Although I thought I built the bed after the shower and then get the kitchen sink in. Then I'm going to do the cabinets. Um, the stove will be the last thing because it's a wood burning cook stove and 
then from there I will um, decorate and move in. <laughs> yes, and I actually have lists for that. So I have some time at work that I'm killing and that's where I'm making my list. So that's the plan, the steps, you know, the land comes first. Okay. Um, the fixtures that I put in, and I have two lists and I've actually need to cross this one off. I've decided that that's not something I want to put in. Um, I was going to put a ceiling fan, just a big ceiling fan with a light. It's not going to provide enough light, number one, because of how big the room is and how far up it it's going to be and I'm just going to buy a regular fan and hence one of the uh, plugins by my bed would be a fan if I need it and I will have the air conditioner on 2020 so as long as I insulate real well it's going to be fine um so that's the the three the five outlets um then I need the kitchen sink the kitchen faucet the shower head which I have if you remember I bought the waterfall shower head years ago when it was on sale um, I may have to replace the gaskets just because it's been stored so long um, then I need the shower faucet and the side the tile for the um, side of the shower now I have been looking and because this is just going to be me there are actually pre-built slide-in showers so I may look into those it depends on the cost uh, cost opposed from tile to the shower um, so then the appliances that I plan to have um, is, and I've got two lists here. I started them at different times at, during the week. First off, I have my bread machine. I will have my coffee maker. That's the outlet in the kitchen. Um, also for the griddle or the toaster oven. And of course I can move the fan from the kitchen during the day and up by my bed, you know. So um, I'm gonna have two plug-in lamps just because um, by my nightstand I have become accustomed to a lamp my phone for my alarm charger thing and those two things are what's going to plug into um, there by the bed and I can put in a fan or not you know I move the fan around it's just going to be a little small oscillating one we're not talking a huge fan okay uh, then I have counted on taking my curling iron and my blow dryer so that also will be by the bed because the bed is by the bathroom. I can use them there and the mirror will be where it can be seen because it's going to reflect the sunlight from the front door and hopefully provide a little bit more light. Um, the washer dryer combo fridge AC. I am going to buy a little um, electric heater just in case. I, I don't know why I'm just starting to kind of have that just in case oh my god what if um, I know that the best plan a is not to have a plan B but I'm getting older and I just yeah if something were to happen and I had the solar power generator and for some reason I didn't have any wood in the house I could turn that on and take the chill off and with good insulation I think the key to this whole thing is good insulation and I'm, I'm going to get to that. Um, then I'm going to get my solar power generator and the wood cook stove. Um, I think that is all of the appliances. That's all the electric stuff that I'll have. Now, am I going to run out and get all of this all at once? No, this is end goal game. Okay. Um, the furniture that's going to be in the house. Of course I have my wine rack already. The kids bought me and I will have that. Um, I will have my bed to tab uh, a table that I already have that's at the farmhouse and then I'm going to build two benches bench seats for it because the ends elongate um, so that's then I'm decided I'm gonna have me a rocking chair I want to be able to sit and rock and crochet some nights and just listen to the radio and you know that's that's kind of my dream world you know so and then of course I'll have my china cabinet which is also already at the farm um, then I've been looking into the bathroom stuff. Oh, wait, let me go back. So for the decor, and if, if I've left anything out, please tell me, okay? Because figuring out what you're going to take to a tiny home and you have an entire home, it's like, you, you just go through it. Well, 
in your head time and time again. So for the, and I say this is all decor, but it's linens and stuff that I need. Um, so I'll need towels for the bathroom, a curtain, a shower curtain I may put up just because I don't, if somebody comes over, I don't want them to use the stool and see my shower. Does that make sense? Um, to me, it just isn't a very finished look or a cute look or country look, whatever you want to call it. Um, so I want a shower curtain. Um, and of course that's going to need one of those little retention rods. And then the bathroom, of course, will have the two shelves with the little baskets on it. And that's where I'll store my curling iron, my blow dryer, uh, my toothbrush will be, you know, someplace in there, probably with a little head. Um, when I say baskets, I mean, you know, little things like I have in the bathroom now. I already have those things, but I plan on using that system. I need a decent mirror. Um, I am going to make it a full length so that I can, you know, dress for work if I'm still working when I move there, whatever, you know, so I do need a mirror. Um, for the kitchen, I'll need towels, washcloths, pots, pans, um, dishes, glasses, mixing bowls, silverware, and cooking utensils. Now, um, the china, of course, I already have. I told you about how I did that. The kids are going to take grandma's porcelain, and then if they break any, they have mine when I pass away to just replace it and have the whole set back. Um, I do have to get some glasses. I have my wine glasses on the wine rack. I have to get just some regular, and I probably will do plastic because at the farm, they don't stay in the house. You grab a cup of water and you go outside and you grab a cup. So I probably will have like four little plastic whatevers. Um, I've got some collapsible Tupperware mixing bowls already. I've got to find some silverware and then of course some cooking utensils. If there's anything that you think of that I have left out, please leave it in the comments below because I haven't thought about the tiny house in a while. My planning kit has been left at the farm rj just i don't know if he's just being rj he's normally not like this i don't know what's got him i don't know if it's the stress of the uh tiny house he's putting in and marrying macy and if it's just bad timing i i don't know but i'm trying not to add to his stress so therefore he's acting like i need to ask permission to be out there or whatever and i just uh anyway um i will have a row of top cabinets in the kitchen and I will have limited bottom cabinets because the washer and the fridge will be right there. The wine rack is going to be here. The uh, fridge is going to be here and then the washer dryer. And then I will have some storage, but remember that storage on that bottom cabinet, um, I'm not going to put in a whole lot because the wood burning stove also goes out there and I need clearance. So um, there'll be two foot clearance. It'll work great in the summer, but in the winter, I won't be getting up into there, you know, very often. Um, then uh, the fiber things, I called it fiber and fabric, the things that I'm going to take out with me, my starter, my sewing machine, my two spinning wheels, my walking wheel, my loom. Um, then I will have totes for under the bed for storage, which has always been in the plan. And I will have at the foot of my bed, a very shallow spot for hanging clothes. And I still have to build that. Um, I guess you call it a closet. Uh, let's see what else. Um, okay. So that is what I have for like fixtures and stuff. The other thing that I've been looking into is um, the toilet. How I'm going to do it. I hadn't done a whole lot of research on it. I thought I wanted a self-composting one, but there's little systems out there that I am just overwhelmed with the whole toilet thing right now. I don't know what's going to end up in there. Um, then, um, with RJ really not wanting me back out there and I used to just be, I used to have my tools in a certain spot and I'd go get them. They have taken them and used them over the last three years and not put them back. So I can't find them. And he is uncomfortable with me going through and looking for stuff. And so um, I made a list of tools that I want and I'm going to start over and it, it's just part of it, I guess, you know, I, I'm starting over anyway. So 
just an extension of starting over. <laughs> um, the two big ticket items is the solar power generator, the wood burning stove, cook stove, and it looks like the toilet because they have some that I'm looking into that are a little bit more expensive. But anyway, uh, those are going to be big ticket items as in thousands of dollars. So, you know, those are the biggest that I'll have in it. Uh, even like each wall is only going to be, I think I priced the whole floor at like 600 bucks. Then, you know, now I, that $600 does not include finishing the floor. Um, I think I'm going to look into doing some of those pre-stuck tiles. I did them in the kitchen on the concrete. And I think if I have a level floor, they'll do even better. So that $600 is just the joist and the, the uh, OSB. And then I think I'm going to put stick tiles down, but I'm not going to do that under the bed. Um, that's just a waste of money, you know, not going to do it under the part where I do the shower, not going to do the under. So the, um, if I do the stick tiles, it will be probably one of the last things I do because you cut them and butt them up against, you know, and then of course, trimming everything out that will come in time. I'm not even going to have it trimmed out when I move in. So the trim is not something that I'm, figuring in that is small projects that I will work on. People always have things going on in their home. That will be one of the things that I have. Um, so uh, the point is, is to get me moved in. I have not set a deadline for this. I'm just saying it, it's coming down to saving the money and getting it done. Once I get the bed in and that I, I'm thinking I may start camping out there until I get the shower and the sink in and the kitchen. Those things, you have to have water and you have to have, you know, a way to clean. So anyway, so I've moved on to, to maybe getting a new set of tools. Um, I am looking at getting, and, and I've looked at actually getting just a set. Um, but I want to stick to one, uh, brand because I want to be able to expand it. And when I looked at Royobi, their midline, their so DeWalt, Milwaukee, and Makita are totally out of my price range. It's thousands of dollars to get the same set that I can get for hundreds of dollars. Um I can get a six piece set with a flashlight, saw, sawzall, which is a little handheld type saw or jigsaw type thing. Um, a flashlight, an impact, the drill. There's like six pieces and it comes with a charger and a battery. And I think some of them come with two batteries and the Royobi is midline. So it's about $300 to get all of those pieces and a carrying bag. Um, there's Black & Decker, Skill, Heart. Quarter cable is a little on the expensive side as well. Craftsman is bottom of the barrel. I need something that's going to last. And while craftsmen are known for being affordable, they're very um, low end and they're just not going to hold up to constructing a home. They're great for small projects, but yeah. So I am looking into Royal B or Bauer. Bauer is um, Harbor Freight's line. Um, so I think the Royobi is middle of the line and they're good quality and the, the expandability of it. They have, if you get their batteries and you start with the little six piece set, they have everything from saws, you know, hand saws, um, to lawnmowers, weed eaters. There is an entire, uh, and I don't know that I'm saying it right. It's, R Y O B I Royobi. Um, and so they have an amazing setup that can grow. And remember, this is something I'm starting out now. And of course I'm going to need all these things. So why not get one that's expandable, 
you just buy more batteries, um, the charger, again, that's those chargers. So when I thought about putting in the electric, I thought if, if I ever get to a point where I can't use the solar powered generator, it'd be nice to be able to go on the grid if I could. And that way, um, I could just charge things there in the kitchen, you know, cause I'm not going to be using those two outlets. I'll use it for the coffee in the morning. Okay. But after that, um, hello. Yeah. And in the winter, I won't even use it for the coffee machine because the coffee will be on the wood burning stove. Uh, I'm going to get a, a little kettle and just park it right there on the stove. So anyway, I have been putting thought into it. I have been doing, I have been saving. Like I said, um, I need to get the land cleared up. Now, the other thing that I have been working diligently on, um, is, you know, I've been doing the challenge trying to save more money and I've gotten very, uh, I don't know what you want to call it. I'm very intentional spending or not. I'm not frivolously spending anymore. Okay. I have all my bills right here. I have one credit card that I need to finish paying off. And other than that, um, I have two other bills that are done in a couple of years. They're loans. And, um, one is some stuff I did for RJ and one is something that I did, you know, so, uh, yeah, but in just a couple of years, I'll finish paying all that off. If I can save this much while paying those things off, um, I've gotten two of my debit uh, credit cards paid off totally. I'm so proud of that. Um, I have one more to go and I'm working on it. So, uh, I've been debating whether I should quit saving and start paying that credit card off. But I'm paying that credit card off. I'm overpaying it while saving. So I don't think I should shoot my whole savings just to pay it off. And in the end, you know, I don't know. Um, I am paying it off early and I literally have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven bills. Um, two of which are family plans. I've got Netflix and uh, Pandora, which are little bitty. The two of them together are $30. That's it. Then I've got the two, what I call my big ones. I've got my phone and me and roommate combined phone because we're living here. We, I combine the phones so that um, we could save money. So the deal is roommate pays groceries while I pay phone. Um, because we do have unlimited plans, but we got them cheaper by being on a family plan. Hey, there's two of us. We're family, I guess. So, um, yeah, and that's really, and one of those seven bills is the money that I put into savings. I calculated it as a bill and made it mandatory for me to pay. So, yeah, um, that could, I really only have six bills. So I have two that are going to take a couple of years to pay off. Then I have one that I'm working on paying off. I have two that are $30 and then my phone bill. Um, so yeah, that's, I, I don't know. So I've got, you know, in the last couple of months I have managed to tuck away over $500. So I'm good with that. Um, I know it doesn't seem like much, but when you're it took me two years to get my head on straight. I'll be honest with you. I didn't podcast for a while. I didn't, you know, I needed to get back to being me, get into life, get job I wanted, get a job that, and I, the job is okay. It's not where I want to be. It's a step in the right direction. And I'm happy there. Um, it's a ends means to the end. And so it's helping me save money, put things away. I have a 401k that's also being added to, you know, every two weeks. So that's a good thing. But anyway, all those things are going on. I think I'm in a good place right now. I am trusting God because I am, I think I'm in a good place, but then I meet resistance from 
RJ and, and people that I think should be supporting me. And of course, roommate is all about it. The support, take the tools from the shed. Uh, roommate has said, why buy those tools when, um, you can just take them from the shed, use them, use mine. And I'm like, Hmm, that's support. Okay. That to me is the support. RJ on the other hand has not been doing it. He's like, just, you know, I don't want you out here. It's weird to have you out here. Um, blah, blah, blah. Uh, one thing that I didn't say is I am looking into a ladder. I need a, a frame ladder out there because I short. Just saying. So, yeah. But anyway, it's progressing along and I, I'm getting there. That's all I can say is mentally I'm getting there. Physically I'm getting there. It, it's coming along and I'm getting there. So, you guys hang in there for the week and I hope you guys have not just, you know, God backing you up, but a support system like I have in roommate because roommate is 100% supporting me on this. And sadly, it's the only person I feel supporting me on doing this, uh, on getting my life back and my little plot of land and my, you know, my house, uh, getting my house back. So anyway, you guys have a great week. I'll be praying for you and thanks for watching. Bye.